Thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. Go ahead and check me out on anthonysmoke.com. Definitely hit subscribe here on YouTube. Also, ring that bell so you get a notification whenever I drop a new video. And as always, if you learned something, go ahead and give this video a like. Today, I'm back in Tableau, gonna show you how to use uh, parameter actions to drill into your data. So parameter actions are new for 2019.2. I already have a video out there that shows you how to drill into your data uh, using set actions. And then I have another video out there that shows you how to drill into your data uh, before set actions were available. So uh, just wanted to complete the, uh, the circle here uh, by showing you how to use parameter actions to drill into your data. So if we take a look at this uh, uh, proof of concept here, right? So this isn't a dashboard you're going to turn over to someone. Just wanted to show you the functionality here using parameter actions. So I've got some NBA teams uh, here in the Pacific Division. If I were to select uh, LA Lakers, right, I get that drill down. I can see points scored by individuals on the team, LeBron. James uh, leading the charge here, right? I can select uh, select Golden State, right? And Kevin Durant. Same thing uh, on this side. You could have the same functionality work in a tree map. If I select Phoenix, right? Devin Booker, Sacramento, uh, Buddy Heal, De'Aaron De Fox. Um, so you get the picture here. So I just want to show you how to go about using drill down functionality with parameter action. So let's go over here to... Uh, 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 another little uh, workbook that I have set up and you know in your data set you can pull uh, whatever dimension you want here to your rows and pull your measure uh, to your columns here I'm using points right a sum of points score so I'm just gonna drag points over here to the label just so we can see the number of points scored so the first thing you're going to do in order to get this parameter actions uh, working for you you need to create a parameter right so let's create a parameter and I'm going to call it uh, team or player, All right? Team or player. And let's say the current value is just LAL. Uh, it doesn't matter what I put there. I'm just going to use LAL for Lakers. And we're going to say OK. So I have that team or player here. And let's go ahead and show that parameter control. Um, I don't know why it's showing one, but I'm just going to put LA. Well, because I didn't, let me go in here, let's make sure it's a string. I said it had to be a string parameter, so LAL. There we go. So that is the default value. So now in order to get my parameter uh, to work, to make it useful, I have to pass that value to a calculated field, which we're going to do now. We're going to create a calculated field, and I'm just going to call it uh, team drill, right? This is going to hold the value of our, our click, so to speak. Um, so uh, if we'll say if our parameter, which we just created, team or player equal team, right? Then, oops, then player, and then show the player name, else show the team name. And this is very similar to the functionality that you would use using set action. So instead of having a parameter here, I'd have the name of a set, right? Go back and review that uh, video. I'm going to say in, and this should be valid. So let's take a look and see what's going on here. So if I, I'm saying here, if team or player, when I click on something, when I click on a value here, uh, that value is going to be... Um, placed into our parameter, right? So the nature of me clicking on a team name, right? So if I click on GSW, GSW will be here in team or player, and that's going to be equal to the team that I select. So when I select a team, this, uh, this will always be true. So we're going to say, we're going to show the player name instead of a team name. Now when I select a player, let's say I select LeBron James, right? Um, that's going to be a player name. That's not going to be equal to uh, a team here. So otherwise, it's it's going to show a team. So hopefully, I'll make more sense uh, when we again when we see it in action. So I'm going to say OK. For now, we have that team drill, and this is important. We have to drag team drill uh, up to our rows, and then what I'm going to do is let's not show our header. We're going to hide that there, and then I'm going to filter this. And then uh, what we can do now, we can do a little bit of uh, filtering here. I can go to format, 
and I don't want those lines there. If I say column divider none, um, if I say, let's go here to rows, row divider in the pane none. So now we're, we're clean here, right? We've got that clean look. And then I can also, we want to create another calculated field here to get a little color differentiation. So I'm going to create a calculated field called color TF, which is going to be a Boolean, right? It's going to return true or false. So I can say um, team or player equal team, right? It's going to value that, evaluate that. So this is either going to be true or false. It's going to say OK, and when I drag this over here to color, you'll see that um, the true values um, get a get one color, get this orange, and the false values get a blue. But I want to change this. Let's go false. Um, let's make that gray, and let's make the, the true values pop, right? Say OK. All right. All right. So again, those, uh, those false values are going to get... Uh, uh, the color that we uh, that we uh, ascribed here and their true values are going to be red right okay so now we have this in play what I can do well let's do this let's create let's create a dashboard first I'm going to make sure we have the make this an automatic size let's drag in our bar drill down here right uh, you know, we don't have any functionality yet because we need to create a parameter action, right? So let's go ahead and add an action, right? And, you know, we can name this add action change parameter. We definitely want to do that. So we can name this uh, bar chart um, action, something like that. Uh, I want to make this uh, run action on select of our bar drill down. The target parameter is going to be team or player, right? And then our field value is going to be the team drill, right? Make sure you get that team drill. Um, so all we're saying here is, you know, we want our, our team or player, right? That's our target parameter. And then what's going to happen, the value is going to, going to be team drill, right? We created that uh, calculated field, so it's going to evaluate team drill here. So I'm going to say OK, right? And so when I select, let's say Sacramento, there we go. I start getting that drill functionality, right? And so really, that's, you know, that's, that's all you have to do if I wanted to. Let me show you how to do this. Let's duplicate this. Let's duplicate. And you know we want to make this uh, let's call this tree map drill, right? If I go over here to show me and just select a tree map, right? You'll see, boom, that that comes in uh, very nice. And I want to let's go ahead and remove the color uh, true false from here. Let's um, let's remove the team because we're duplicated there. Let's go ahead and add points to our label. And let's go ahead and change this color real quick. Um, we want this to be white. Have it pop a little bit with the white. Okay. There we go. All right. And then I want to change. Oops. Get rid of this. I want to change this to a little uh, red, blue diverging. Uh, red, blue diverging. Say okay. All right. So good. So now that that pops a little bit here on on our drill. And then what I can do now is kind of very similar. I can take my tree map drill, bring that over here, right? And let's make sure if I go select entire view, there we go. So that that fills out. Now you'll notice nothing is going to happen here. What I need to do, right, is create another action, right? So if I go over here to um, uh, dashboard actions, and I'm going to add an action, change the parameter. Again, very similar uh, on the tree map drill, I'm going to select, right? And then same thing, team or player is the parameter, right? When I select that, that parameter is going to change, which is going to influence uh, this field, our team drill. Say OK. Say OK here. So now, hopefully, when I select LA Lakers, boom, LeBron James shows up. 
uh, Clippers. There we go. Lou Williams, uh, Phoenix, Devin Booker, and, and uh, crew here. So uh, this has been Anthony Smoke. Hope you enjoyed this tip. You learn how to do uh, to drill into your data using parameter actions. Just another uh, uh, arrow to throw into your quiver here. Something to add to your toolbox. So hope you enjoyed this tip. Get out there and do some great things with your data. Thanks for watching, everyone.